It's a Saturday night, and as usual, you sit on your sofa, snacks by your side, friends talking in the distance, waiting for the UFC's main event to start. Hardly containing your excitement as your favourite fighter, John Jones, is set to fight his last fight in the octagon, ending one of the greatest careers to ever exist in mixed martial arts. Prelim after prelim, finally the main event starts. But just as you hear the walkout song for Jones' opponent for the night, you feel your eyes start to close, your body starts to slump, and your ears slowly deafen. You fall asleep, music and conversation fading into the background of your mind until nothing. Minutes go by, or maybe it was seconds, nonetheless, and your eyes begin to open. Bright lights blinding your eyes. A roaring crowd starts to crescendo. Your senses are overwhelmed. You rub your eyes, look around, and John Bones Jones is opposite you. Crouched over, stretching against the cage, only you and him are left in. Before you have the time to think, a bell goes off, and the greatest light heavyweight to ever is crawling towards you. Eyes locked on you as if he's hunting his prey, and there's only one way out of the octagon, that is to beat John Jones. So what do you do? Go! Welcome to today's video and we will be exploring how to beat John Jones in a UFC fight if there is no other way out. Make sure you stay until the end of the video to find out how we've thought of the most peculiar way there is to win the fight. To start off, there is one way that Jones has been beaten before. So the first way of beating John Jones in an MMA fight is none other than getting him to break the rules. No stranger to dirty tricks and bending the rules, Jones's dark side can be used as an advantage against him in the cage. His one and only loss against Mark Hamill was due to Jones using illegal 12 to 6 elbows. An unfortunate way for Matt Hamill to get the win but he won nonetheless, and it could be your only way of beating a fighter such as John Jones, who is willing to take it as far as possible to win in a fight. A history of eye pokes could mean your eyes might suffer in the octagon, but if excessive could lead to John Jones having a point deducted, this is one way of getting an advantage if you aim to take the fight to a decision. Tricks and unhandedness aside, John Jones, like any other fighter, has weaknesses that can be exploited, and to understand these weaknesses, there are two fights in particular which they were exploited. One was from earlier in his career when he fought Alexander Gustafsson in 2013 and one occurred more recently in his controversial win against Dominic Reyes in 2020. Starting with Alexander Gustafsson where the two men fought for a five gruelling round and for the first time in Jones' career, despite ending up winning the fight, fans saw a side of Jones we had never seen before. The first round already shattering the air of invincibility John Jones had created. Gustafsson landed heavy punches and even a takedown, setting a statement. Jones landed some leg kicks in response to Gustafsson. But aside from those, round one saw Jones take a beating and a bad start to this incredible fight. Going into round two, Jones would keep throwing his leg kicks, landing occasionally. But still not having landed a takedown, even after five attempts, Jones taking advantage of his kicking ability used his spinning kicks and despite taking some damage from punches, none unlike the first this time, Jones would come on top this round. Round three, unfortunately for Jones, would go the same way as round one. Jones occasionally landing kicks, but Gustafsson ultimately landing more punches and doing more damage, leaving Jones two to one down with two rounds to go. And it would be these two rounds where Jones proved why he is one of the greatest fighters of all time. Round four saw Jones almost finish the fight, cutting Gustafsson open with elbows after a shaky start to the round. And round five is where Jones and Gustafsson both landed big shots. And the result of the fight was up in the air. As we no, Jones went on to win by a close margin, making an incredible comeback after the first three rounds. In the fight, Jones showed he was indeed a human. But as to whether there's anything you can learn from the fight to use to your advantage, unfortunately, there isn't. Jones showed holes in being able to be hit, especially at a boxing distance. However, it simply highlighted how incredible Alexander Gustafsson was as a fighter in being able to land punches on John Jones. The fight against Dominic Reyes was not too dissimilar. The one difference being in the controversy in Jones winning at the end, as many believe Reyes had done more than enough to take the title from Jones. 
one key thing stands out in these two fights, however, and that is Jones' weakest area is in his boxing, or fighting at boxing distance, to be more precise. Jones is, of course, world-class at boxing, but compared to the other aspects of his game, it falls behind. Jones manages to stay at kicking distance, or forces his opponent within elbow or clinching distance, where most fighters are less comfortable than him, and there's, of course, his takedown and submission threats. There's one final way of beating John Jones, and it might not be what you think it is. Before we tell you more about that though, we want to tell you how to enter the monthly shout out we hold on our channel. And to do that, all you need to do is comment I sub down in the comments section below and you'll be within a chance to win. Now, back to the final way. John Jones is one of the greatest fighters ever. However, in the UFC rule set, his extreme life outside the cage remains as the biggest obstacle his career has ever faced. Runnings with the law aside, the final way to beat John Jones in a fight is to lose, but later be declared as the winner. How? Well, Jones is no stranger to PED use in his UFC career, and despite that being in the past, the possibility of failing a USADA test is well within the realm for John Jones. So even if you lose, you might end up winning. That is, if you're not on PEDs. Which one of these methods would you use to beat John Jones, if not at all? Or is there any you think we haven't mentioned? Let us know in the comments section below. Goodbye.